All right. Anyway, um, so just real quick, the last fucking ten minutes. Um, so I'm just going to show you again why you might want to do, you know, like say around there. If I was going to define this nose, why well, you might use the pinch. I might like go around it like so, and then use the pinch to pinch it up. So if I want like a crease, it's basically becoming. So can you see like I'm pinching it in, so it looks like a a, a wrinkle in, because otherwise it just looks like a big trough thing. Whereas this looks a bit more like a wrinkle in, and um, I can also use these things called stamps. So stamp is like so. I probably need to be in a higher. Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna go to a another layer, and I'm gonna go even higher. Okay, to a higher subdivision. So it's like shifty. I'm on four hundred thousand. I'm on a million, two million polys now. So can you see when I'm sculpting, you can see it's got like a little bit of detail. So in the old way, before we had those materials and stuff, that's kind of how we had to do stuff. Um, well, it's not the only way. We actually use materials as well. But um, it's one other method. Instead of using substance and like painting on the rocky bits, you can also do it here. You can also do it with stencils. And stencils are any black and white image. This is like a picture I got of the interwebs. And you literally like... It's like the projection in Substance, um, and it's any black and white image. And you just do that, and you can see it like, you know, stepping on it. And if I hit Control, it goes the opposite way, basically. And the more that I paint on, the more it goes in. That's sort of the way. So that's like stamps and stencils, okay? And all the controls are right here to the left. Maybe you see them, like S in middle to move, S in left to right. Um, so just real quick, and you hit off, by the way, here to turn it off. And there you go. It's got a stencil on it. Um, just real quick though, uh, this, oh, okay, so sorry, just, this, it would be kind of how you would add scales and shit, you got like a scale stencil and you scale the model. Um, there is a paint tools in here, and before Substance was around, this was kind of one of the ways you used to paint stuff. So you add a new layer, add a paint layer, the size, it's not the same as Substance. In the Substance, you can, you can use the materials at a lower res, and then when you export, you export the higher res, you can't do it here. This was like pure, whatever res I have here, that's the res I have. Um, okay, and then you got paint tools, there's paint tools here, and you could paint like directly on it. Um, colors over here and stuff like that. Now, nowadays, like, I don't think this is very useful anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is that useful because, um, because you have like, you have Substance Painter, and this only shows you textures. Can this, you like stretch your bits of his head and make him arms so he looks like it? I can do later, but like... Yeah. But oh, sometimes... The scales look like my skin. I, so I, I still use this sometimes when, um, if I'm trying to do, you know, like one of those really low poly kind of looks where there's no metallicity or anything like that. It's just pure texture. Sometimes I use this still, so you can paint on the lightness and stuff. Um, but it is kind of old school way of doing it. Like substance is pretty much superseded this but just fyi you can do this and it is still with layers as well so like add a new layer like so and everything i do on this layer stays on that layer what's the what's the it one what does it look like like this or something yeah Come it's like from the eyes isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. This, uh, whatever okay, anyway <laughs> anyway um Oh, that's the eye of the of, of Um, so that's on that layer, okay? So the same as that, and the same as Photoshop, it's got like blending modes, and the same as Substance, it's got blending modes. So the same kind of stuff that Photoshop has, so overlay looks like that, and like you know, um, all that kind of stuff. But as I said, I don't know if this is that useful anymore because you have Substance. So, and Substance gives you a much more correct view of what the model will look like in Unity as well, or in in Sketchfab. This is like, you can see the colors look like, eh. this doesn't look like what it would look like in Unity, you know? It has its own kind of rendering engine. Um, so I would still use it for sculpting. I don't know if I use it for painting anymore. But just FYI, those tools are there. Um, and can we do a retopology really quick? Yeah, we try. All right, so if I go to this here, there's layers and there's objects, and these are all the objects in the scene. So there's a T-Rex here, right? Here's a T-Rex. Okay, turn it on and off. So that's the object in the scene. Um, I can quickly try and do a thing called retopology. And a retopology is, I'm on a million right now. 
I'm going to try and re it down to like a thousand, 3,000 maybe, something like that. Um, it's going to probably take a while. What I'm also going to do is this thing called curves. Um, so you can create a curve by clicking and just like oh, draw in. There you go. Can you see that curve being drawn? There you go. Those two. And what the curves do is anywhere you want there to be a seam, because when it re topologizes, it doesn't know where the neck is, doesn't know where the ears are. So when you want to animate, you definitely need a seam here because you need the neck to bend, for example, right? Kind of makes sense? And if you have a wrist and you want the wrist to bend, you need a seam there. It has to be there, otherwise, it can't bend there. If that's just a polygon, you're not able to bend there because polygons can't bend. That kind of makes sense? So what we need to do is we need to create those curves. So I'm just going to do a really quick one. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to do there. There's a curve loop. A loop will just go all the way around. That doesn't work. Why don't I know? Oh, it is. I just can't see it. Um, I'm going to make sure it has a curve around the nose. I should draw all the way around. I should draw like all the way around, but just quickly for now. Um, and then, like anywhere I want to animate. So like here, I'll need a curve loop around it to make sure I can bend it. And I should go all the way along it, like doing loads of loops, basically so that you can segment. It will add them anyway. It's just if I add curves, I'm basically telling it you must add the seam here. Okay? It's just guaranteeing it. So then I'll go to mesh, and this may break, by the way. Oh, let me save this before we try this. Okay, uh, we are going to retopologize, new operation, and Here's a target count. So right now it's at a million. I'm going to try to aim for 3,000. Okie dokes. Uniformity is like uniformity means it'll try to keep the same size of polygons all the way around. If it's not uniform, it'll try to, wherever there's a lot of detail, it'll make them smaller to allow more detail to stay. Are you playing, sir? I literally have like five minutes left. Um, and then if you want symmetry, if you're like, oh, I screwed up half of the model, you can add symmetry right now here. But I'm just going to leave this and then re -topologize. It sometimes breaks. Hopefully this works. Okay. It's going to take a while. It's working. But it's taking a while. Um, so hopefully it will give me, it probably won't give me exactly 3,000. It always tries to aim for that but it'll do as best as it can. So it'll probably be like 4K, 5K or something. Um, and then you can retopologize that again. Man, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, my lord. Yeah, okay, it's gonna take forever. It's only like 10%. Um, but it looks like it's working. You can see the little bar down here, it tells you when. Um, and it, it's basically just calculating the mm -hmm. lower body word. What? Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Either way, hopefully this will work. You can leave, you can, like, class is over. Cause I don't, oh, 54%, wow. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Come on. Big changes. What? I mean, back up and stuff, like. What? What, boy? So it's 70%. It's a lot easier on the screen. It's just 73% right now. <coughs> Pretty sure it's a date. Yeah, if it's a date, it's always any time to midnight. I'm 
I'm not allowed to call in sick to work. Why aren't you allowed to call in sick? What? Why aren't you allowed to call in sick? Yeah. Because um, no one else will work the four day shifts. Like, they all just refuse to do it. To do what? What? The four, four day shifts. The four to eight shifts. Oh. They all refuse. So why not? Yay! Alright, so successful. It says 3,000. All right, so I don't know if you can see that now. You see the way it's re apologized I had to go page down the way. You see the way it's made like little things here? Because that's where I had detail. So it's re apologized it down to 3,000 because I had the detail there. It made like a little thing there. And now this is the one that I probably use in the game. And I take the... I project the detail from the higher poly mesh onto this lower poly mesh. Okay, dopes. All right, we can show. I'll show you that next week. By the way, there you go. It's free to apologize. I'll save that.